Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. I'm not talking to you. Yes, you can be you can be with you, but you should know. I'm not talking to you. I'm here. I'm talking to the country. I'm here. Okay? Don't insult me like that. No, I'm not insulting you. Don't insult me like that. You understand? What do you do? Because you're minister, but you don't insult. Let's be each other. No, you fuck off also. Don't talk to me like that. Who are you? I've been talking to officers here. Who are you? This is war. This is war. Zambians, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to realize that you elected a dictator? This is dictatorship, nothing else. The immunity stands. Anything else is illegal. It is dictatorship. This is on you. This is on you. Tell Baka in the Ichirema. This is on you. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I was watching a videotape of Bakampiongo, he was engaging someone, I guess that was that was years ago was his subordinate. And they got into an exchange of words and I was trying to decipher, I was trying to see who used the profanity first. You know, one of them used the F word first and then Bakam Pyongo responded. I think I think it was the other guy that said F, F word and then Bakam Pyongo also said the F word. And he was very angry. Bakam Pyongo was very flustered. He was furious. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? And, and and two things I picked up from there. Number one, of course, it's there's never an excuse to use profanity. I think the people in leadership shouldn't speak like that. People in leadership are held or at least they should be held to a higher standard. Of course, I'm not saying that people should be saints, but what I'm saying is that if you are a government official in a government position, you shouldn't speak like that. And Bakam Pyongo was equally wrong for, for using that word, but, but that number one. Number two, what stood out to me was that one of the reasons why Bakam Pyongo's rage was so evident was because in that moment he realized that that he no longer is in power he no longer has has the instruments to fix you he's no longer the minister of home affairs and in that moment it dawned on him because it was almost as if he was saying you're so lucky I'm no longer the minister of home affairs you're so lucky that we're no longer in power you're so lucky that the PF are no longer holding the reins of this country because if we were in power as the PF that was the undertone of what Bakam Pyongo was was really upset about. He was upset because he it, it all of a sudden dawned on him. It all of a sudden came over him. All of a sudden he realized that we're no longer in power. And this man that's talking to me in the way that he's talking to me, had we been in power, I would have fixed him. And that's the undertone of what I was witnessing. Thirdly, let me.
me say, uh, and, and we don't often say this about the police, and whenever the opportunity does arise, I think it's important for all of us to, to, to make note of it. I, I am so impressed with the way the police handled that situation yesterday. Because I know that had that same situation been, had that happened during the NPF, the Notorious Patriotic Front, Buana, if you got the idea, it's the dictator, dictator, dictator. Imagine if Balungu was president. Yeah, I want you to imagine this for a moment. Okay, let's be fair. Let's pretend former president Lungu, this was during the time that Balungu was president of the Republic of Zambia. And there were cadres there, PF cadres, and then Tadi came, started shouting because what he was doing basically was trying to incite, he was trying to agitate, he was trying to annoy and get under the skin of the police. Imagine if that was during the PF. You think he would have survived with the PF cutters there? You think Tali would even have said D? Bwana ngabadi mwinya. Bwana ni by P. Edi ngabadi muma, bauma, ngabamu mirenge mbush. Imbush fye ituntulu. Kuti ngaba. Ala ngabadi mudidi nga. PF Kadas. Tabale Angala. Nimono Angala. Kabidi Badi Adi 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 Milanga. President Hitchlimba has, has shown you how to be magnanimous. President Hitchlimba has said no Kadarism. President Hitchlimba has said be civil. But during the PF Kataadi, Kuti Katsa Fiatside. Lungu dictator, Babu Panya. Wana ngabari mchakiria. Ngabara mchakiria. So, uh, uh, against that backdrop, I want to say to the Zambia police, Mwabombeni, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not killing Chilufya Tayali. Thank you for not beating him to a pulp. Thank you for not uh, beating him within an inch of his life. He'll get what's coming to him. I mean, make no mistake, you know, Chilufya Tayali will get what, he, what what's coming to him. You, you don't walk through life saying the things that he's, he says and think that you're going to come out on the other side unscathed. No, that's not how life works. It's called the comeuppance. Trust me, the comeuppance is going to come. And when it does, it will come swiftly. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.